Okay, so we look at uh, passing a re light in descent and ascent mode. Um, firstly, re B lays, we can use it for different things, but mainly it's for either protecting the ropes, um, so removing a hazard by anchoring underneath it potentially, or for work positioning to so get closer to where we need to be. So we've really got two separate rope systems. We've got anchor lines here, working line and backup, and then underneath the re B lay, the other side of the loop, uh, our other working line and backup line. So we need to get our kit from this side of the loop to that side of the loop. The problem with re lays is normally the size of the loop for, for rescues and also for, for going past them. So ideally they'll be quite big loops to make it easier to, to transfer across. So we need our kit from this side to that side, so we need an extra connection. An extra connection, we can use one of our cow's tails. Using the loop, we can pull ourselves across and connect in. On a small re lay it should be easy enough to get ourselves across and get clipped in. That's a, a third point of attachment really. In descent mode, what we want to do is abseil down until our weight is completely transferred onto that lanyard there, that cow's tail. So that becomes our work positioning point. We've still got our ASAP on, so we've got two points there, and our descender is, is redundant. So the descender can come off, make sure the loops are out of the way, and we can attach that to our new working line. We need to clip that on, pull it nice and tight, and then lock it off. And it becomes a point again. So now we've got, in essence, two work positioning points here, and we've still got the ASAP on. So the ASAP can come off. Make sure we're not going to get caught in the loop again. Just double check. Attach our backup system onto our backup line, make sure everything's okay. And we're back on, working line back up, and we're not in the loop. The only thing left to do is get the cow's tail back. So you could use what's around you possibly, just to lift yourself up a touch. But we can always use our foot loop to stand up slightly. And retrieve the cow's tail or go up in, up in our descender. Once we've done that, again, triple check. Don't need our hand descender back. And we're through the re -beeler. Passing a re belay in ascent mode, we just need to get kit from this side of the ropes and um, this anchor point across to our uh, new lines the other side of the loop. So in order to do that, we obviously need an extra connection. Always clip something on before we unclip something. So if we can, we want to ideally clip our cow's tail into the anchor points. To do that, we want to go as high as possible we can. This rig in here is what we call a Y hang. So we'll be a bit further away from the anchor points than maybe a basic rigging setup. Um, so we may need to just use the foot loop to get it clipped in. It's normally not too, not too difficult. So straight away we've got an extra connection in, so I can think about starting to move kit across. It makes sense to move our backup system first, so we maintain a high point. So we can get that on our new lines, always pointing towards our new anchor point. So we can clip that one on, again just make sure everything's okay, and we're back onto three points. We've got my ascender, cow's tail, and my backup system. So now, again there's a few different ways of doing this, but a nice quick efficient way is to simply step up and move our ascender from this line across to the other one, because we've got two separate uh, anchor systems there already. So I'm going to stand up, take my ascender off, get my new line, clip it into my new working line, and pull any of that slack out. At this stage, we'll naturally want to swing this way a bit to go underneath our new anchor points, but our cow's tail won't let us. So we just need to retrieve it. 
So hand jam is going to come across. There's no weight in the ropes below us now on a re-belay really because there's such a small amount of rope in the loop. So we may need to, to pull the slack through and always remembering to take the backup system with us as well. The cow's tail we can retrieve when we're a bit more horizontal. It's a bit easier than trying to lift ourselves up to clip it out. And that's what these loops are for really, so we can use them to, to pull ourselves into to the anchor. And clip our cow's tail. And we're free to continue our ascent.